This video will add to your knowledge described in previous videos about cholelithiasis, cholecystitis, and pancreatitis. But the main intention is to help you understand a bit of anatomy as seen on the ERCP images. ERCP stands for Endoscopic Retrograde Cholangiopancreatography. It involves a specially designed instrument known as endoscope, which is visible here in this image. Endoscope is inserted through the mouth, into the stomach, and then into the duodenum. ERCP combines the use of endoscopy and x-rays to diagnose or treat certain conditions of the biliary and pancreatic ductal system. With the help of a camera at the end of the endoscope, the physician can see inside the stomach and duodenum, and then a thin plastic tube is inserted through the endoscope into the ampulla of waiter, which is the opening of the common bile duct and pancreatic duct into the duodenum. A radio-opaque contrast medium is then injected through the tube, which makes all parts of the biliary tree, including intrahepatic ducts, common hepatic duct, cystic duct, gallbladder, common bile duct, and also pancreatic duct visible on the x-rays, which otherwise, without contrast, are not visible. ERCP can be performed for diagnostic and therapeutic reasons. The procedure is used primarily to diagnose gallstones, strictures, and leaks from trauma and surgery. It is particularly useful to help patients in case of obstructions in biliary system caused by certain cancers. Frequently, stents are inserted to relieve the obstructions to increase the quality of life. The procedure is also used to remove gallstones from the bile ducts. This is an inverted image like a negative of a photograph, if you're familiar with that term. The anatomical structures for that reason that normally appear black are appearing white, and the structures that appear white are appearing black. The gray scales are inverted on the image. The air within the stomach, which appears black, is appearing white, and the contrast medium, which appears white, is appearing black. Many times radiologists like to see fluoroscopic images with inverted gray scales. This is air within the stomach, and this is air in the duodenum. Some contrast is leaked into the duodenum, which is making outline of the duodenum clearly visible. The injected contrast with the air in the duodenum is creating what is known as double contrast study. If you pay close attention, perhaps you can see a faint outline of the pancreas. Your knowledge of anatomy should help you. You can clearly see pancreatic duct without any dilatation. Although the gallbladder is still not completely filled with contrast medium, however you can see a number of filling defects which are appearing as small, somewhat rounded, or irregular shaped structures. Although it's not wise to jump to diagnosis and make a conclusion based on one image, but these filling defects are most likely multiple gallstones. You can clearly see cystic duct. The cystic duct attaches the gallbladder to the common hepatic duct. The common hepatic duct from this point on is known as the common bile duct. This sort of spring shape appearance is typical for the cystic duct. There is at least one big filling defect within the neck of the gallbladder. The common hepatic duct, common bile duct, and rest of the biliary tree is also clearly visible. The pancreatic duct is also visible without any sign of obstruction. Despite of multiple filling defects in the gallbladder and in the cystic duct, common bile duct and rest of the biliary tree appears to be of normal caliber and shape, which indicates that the stones are not causing any obstruction. You should try and learn how anatomical structures on the x-rays are used to reveal broader anatomy. For example, even in the absence of endoscope and contrast within the biliary tree, you should be able to identify that this is the 12th thoracic vertebra because the last rib is attached to it. There is no rib on the vertebra after this one, so this is the first lumbar vertebra, which should clearly tell what part of the human body we are looking at. This is a photograph, not a radiology image taken from the endoscope from a different patient. You can see the camera is within the duodenum. Two gallstones are being retrieved from the duct with the help of this special basket, as they call it, which is able to trap the stones and pull them out into the duodenum, which relieves the obstruction caused by the stones.